Elena. I practiced these with Roger yesterday. <laughs> he didn't have any comments. <laughs> Milena, I love you. I don't know exactly when I realize this, but I do know that I haven't stopped since. I never will, not in this life, not in the next one. I promise to always love you. Dominic, when I met you, I was an anxious, fearful 16-year-old who had no idea what the future would hold. Then suddenly, your love gave me hope. Your love grounded me, and over the past 10 years, you have helped me grow into who I am today. When I'm with you, I'm not afraid to challenge myself, and I'm not afraid of the future. You are my best friend, my rock, my travel companion, my confidant. I see you, and I can breathe easier. I sense your warmth and feel at home. In your arms and by your side, I know that I can do anything. I've seen you achieve so much, from excelling at pole vault in high school, graduating with honors, playing an integral part in the operating room every day, and training for a half marathon, and crushing your full time. How lucky I am to spend my life with someone who has the abilities to achieve anything she puts her mind to. I vow to always be your biggest fan, teammate, or coach. We both know how indecisive I can be, but one thing I'm absolutely certain of is that you are the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. <laughs> Today, surrounded by the support of our loved ones, I choose you to be my husband. You're so beautiful all the time. It doesn't matter if you're all dressed up or harassing the cat with really weird faces and noises. <laughs> I'm here for every look, smile, laugh, and strange noise. I love knowing that our kids will have you as their mother. Any child we have will be the most loved kid in the world as long as you treat them half as well as you treat the cat. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I've been privileged to see the love that you learn from your family, and that's the same love that I want our kids to have. I promise to always make our marriage a priority, to listen to you and learn from you, to support you and accept your support. I promise to be your friend, lover, and partner every step of the way. I promise to share my hopes and dreams with you as we continue to build our life together. I promise to try my best to understand as you explain economics and engineering to me. <laughs> when we first met, you were such a picky eater. What kind of Italian doesn't like tomatoes? <laughs> I promise to continue to challenge you to try new things and try not to criticize you too much when you continue not to like them. The only thing that will ever get old are our bodies. No matter how old, we always have our memories, each other in the present, and looking forward to everything yet to come. An ice cream date today tastes just as sweet as when it did when we were teenagers. And they'll be just as sweet when we're old and wrinkly. I want to share every first with you and every last. Not only did you steal my heart, but you steal my food. <laughs> we can refer to this as sharing. If you didn't steal my food that I already offered to order you, I would know something's wrong. I will always save the best bite for you. I vow to take care of you and to support you in every way, to be patient and trustworthy, to give you all of my words when you need them, and to share in the silence when you don't, to pick you up when you are down, to care for you and for our families as long as we live, to love you unconditionally. I am so proud to call myself your partner. Together, I know that we can do anything. You are my everything, and this is my promise. I am always here to listen to you. You don't even need to use words. Do not shield me from any emotion or worry or insecurity that you have, or hold any emotions in. This one pretty much goes without saying though. We both know what happened when we saw a star was born. <laughs> or the time that I fell asleep when we were watching Coco and I was awakened by you sobbing your eyes out. And then the next morning I did the same exact thing for you. <laughs> With our marriage, you're not the only blessing I receive. For anybody who hasn't had to do this, it's tough to explain how, how scary it is for a teenage boy to meet your crush's state police father for the first time. <laughs> but from the very first day, Jimmy has given me the trust, respect, and the love as if I were part of the family. Some of this new family we share are added aunts, uncles, cousins, and parents, while others fill the roles of the grandparents that I've lost. I promise to cherish every moment that you've given me with this new family and all. Anytime you need something, you can call on any of these paisans out here. <laughs> Also, I'm very happy to say that very soon I'll officially be Christine's oldest grandson. And um, just one more thing, when, when we were selecting our songs to, um, you know, for dinner and stuff, I read, pick the songs that you love that remind you of your wife, and they all do. I
found a place to put down my things. I'm settled for good, no longer wandering. These walls know my name and my history. These picture frames filled with memories. I know it's been.
you could